So what we've done is we've selected just the field that we want from the users table where the ID is equal to the user ID that's logged in. Then we're running the query and checking if that works. And if that does works, we're re work. Sorry, we're returning the result. And the result takes in the query that we've run. We're getting the first row. Remember, it starts at zero. Even though our ID starts at one, that's just a superficial value. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a data that's stored. But in actual fact, we're returning row zero. And that's and we're grabbing the field name field that we specified. Okay. So um, let's. Um, in fact, we can improve this still, but I'll do that in a minute. I'll show you that it works first. We could uh, even enclose this in an if statement and return. If it's not worked, we can return um, the value not found. Um, so let's do that. I guess we can do that now. So if that, so if this returns a value, we execute something in here. Now we need to assign a variable to this. So I can say query result is equal to that. If it does work, return query result. So we're constructing our um, query. We're running the query. If the query is running, we or has run successfully without error, we are executing this block in here. We're then, in an if statement, setting a variable called query result to this. If this query or if this function rather works, we then return the value we've just set here uh, using these that I've already explained. So let's give it a go. Let's. Um, say we'll just do it down here for now so I'm going to echo get user field and I want to get first name so we're applying now the field name that we want to get remember the field name first name will be equal to Alex in this case because we're selecting from where the ID is one okay so let's test to see if this works and then we can apply it to this use you've logged in sentence Let's go back to our page and refresh. Hopefully that works. Yeah, that's worked. So we've got Alex being returned. So now let's enter a field name that doesn't exist. I don't exist. And let's refresh. Now we've not returned anything. Um, um, that's because um, this, oh, that's because this has returned as false. If we just had this on our own, we'd have a nasty SQL error in the middle of something. So if we can't find a field, we just don't display it rather than causing a big error inside our program. So let's go back to where we are, we to index.php. What we can now do is if logged in, we can say first name is equal to get user field first name. Oh no. First name. Then we can say surname is equal to get user field surname. And then we can incorporate these inside of this sentence. So you're logged in, first name, surname. Oh, remember we're using single quotation marks, and so we need to escape that for uh, first name, and then we do a space and we can escape that again and say surname so you're logged in escape this string um, concatenate on the first name and then we do another space concatenate on the surname and then we continue the string so now we can see that on index.php it's taking the information relevant to us so uh, let's just put a full stop after that refresh so it looks a bit better okay so you're logged in Alex Garrett now let's try it when we log out and log in as Billy okay so you can see that it's now taking the data relevant to the user that's currently logged in and it's displaying it back to us so now we can supply any field we want any field name we want inside here and it will display it back to the user so when you eventually uh, use um, these examples for yourself when you're learning and you want to create the registration form, which we're going to do in the next stage, um, you can add as many fields as you want to your database and then you can just use this function that we've created inside here, which will be available on any page that you want it to be um, by just requiring it up here. 
uh, you can just use this function to select any field so if we now even go and add a field to this say we added say telephone number we can then just re-specify that inside um, using this function so that's basically how we are grabbing data about the user and displaying it onto our page